It is Kayla's last day here with me, and we are. She's just gonna miss just me so getting. Much. We're just getting our day started at okay. three o'clock in the afternoon. We just went to Starbs. I got a peach green tea lemonade with honey. Are you gonna say what I got? You don't really know what you got. <laughs> Kayla doesn't know her drink from Starbucks because she makes me order it for her every time. And now that she is leaving and I won't be with her to order her Starbs, I don't know what she's gonna do. I'll just text you before I go. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to go to the beach. I stopped because I thought we had to figure out what beach we're going to, but apparently Kayla knows everything, so. Today is the day that Kayla is leaving. We have like a half a day because I have to drop her off at the airport around 2.30ish. But we just woke up, got ready. She's actually still inside packing right now. I'm having mixed emotions. I'm upset that she's leaving. But like I'm also excited to just be on my own and be able to start to create some sort of routine for myself. It's gonna be weird sending her off. She's been with me since I've gotten here. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So many emotions. She's meditating. We're pulling cards. My little hippie sister gave me superpowers. No, you just remembered your own. Stop. This is the card we got. We're about to do our reading now. The card was spot on, of course. So basically, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Okay, I'll start and then you jump in, okay. So the first card that we pulled when we got here was about trusting that it's time for us to take action and like our manifestations are becoming like our reality and that we're supported. Before we came to Florida, this is like important to know, I had like an intuitive hit that Alyssa was going to like move through this phase of like finding herself more. Basically because we literally have done everything together in our lives and we've been through a lot of the same things and just handled them our own way and now like I'm about to go through experiences that like aren't gonna happen for her and she's about to go through experiences that aren't gonna happen for me. This is the first time like we're really like I'm gonna be living on my own and she's gonna be yeah. Like back in New Jersey, so the card is very spot on. It's all about learning how to be alone and deal with yeah our own stuff. The line that stood out to me, it basically says, you wonder if you're sane to leave a known world behind you and enter into the darkness of your own doubt and fear. We both, uh, well, at least I still have some stuff to work on within mm -hmm. myself. This is the first time we're gonna be doing that completely on our own, so. Yeah. It's just interesting. It's like the series of events that are about to occur in our lives like will not include each other in the way that they have in the past. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we said this. I think they get the point. Okay, bye. We're officially in our feels. <laughs> Don't make a joke! <laughs> She's literally coming back in a month and we're acting like we're never gonna see each other again. No, it's like not the same. Why? This Do is like when I left for college, okay? Do some explaining. Okay. This is like when I left for college, like. <laughs> Her crying is making me cry. We've just been through so much shit and now life is like 
getting easier for both of us. We wouldn't have been able to go through all of this shit we went through if we didn't have each other. I'm just getting easier for both of us. <laughs> Alyssa hates physical touch. <laughs> If anybody's wondering what a trauma bond looks like, this is it. <laughs> so much of like what we do in our everyday life. <laughs> You're so annoying. So much of what we do in our everyday life like involves each other and like, yeah, we can FaceTime and still talk to each other. Like, she's not fucking dying. I'm not dying. Like, that's not what's happening. It's just the small little things. I'm sad, but like, I'm also really happy that we're about to like... It's an emotional day. <laughs> yeah, like we're about to do this like next phase i guess i don't know when shit is really fucking bad you don't ever see the point where you'll get to like where we both are right now and we're like fucking sitting in it it's just like bittersweet yeah. been here with me since I got here and I knew it was like a temporary thing that she would be here for just the first month and then I'm on my own but like I guess it just really didn't hit until right now it's not like I'm devastated that she left yes I'm sad but it's just like a lot of changes are happening today and just a lot of people have visited me and been in and out of this space of mine and people have come and gone and now it's just like just me. <laughs> I'm excited to be able to just fully focus on myself and work through things on my own and create more structure to my days. I think it'll be really good for me to just be like completely on my own right now and plus she's coming back in a month anyway. We've been literally acting like it's the end of the world today but <laughs> um, it's just been a lot of fun like having her here with me. We have been cooped up in this small like studio space together for a month straight now so it is nice to be able to just have our own space and Kayla go back home to her own space as well but um, I don't know. I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna just try to relax. Maybe I'll clean because I need to clean so bad. Um, just clean my space and have a clear mind and go on with my day because I have things to get done, so we're not gonna be sitting here crying all day, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Kayla's being an asshole. We've been in the car for maybe like 45 minutes at this point we yeah. ate and I was chilling on my phone for a little bit and now she has an attitude Because she didn't want to sit in the car all day. She's acting like we've been here for 24 hours straight And to clarify I was being productive on my phone creating content that needed to no, get she posted was Snapchatting. And yeah, and responding to people on Snapchat. Can you fucking relax? Because now she's gonna go back to the car and do the same thing Oh,